Hello everyone, the Google Pixel 9 is one of those phones that has just came out, but there's kind of some problems that I've been kind of seeing within the Google Pixel 9s, and I kind of wanted to hit on them. The big thing that I did kind of notice, first of all, is within that price tag. So the Google Pixel 9 as of right now, if you want to go ahead and buy it in the brand new market, it is $799. Now, when compared to something like a Galaxy S24 that came out earlier this year, I would probably argue that the Galaxy S24 is a more superior phone than the Pixel 9. Now, I think the Pixel 9 Pro and the Pixel 9 Pro XL are very good devices that probably will, you know, rival the S24 a little bit better. But because the Galaxy S24 has already been out for a couple of months, it's already gone down in value in the used market, and you can buy a Galaxy S24 in the used market for like less than $500 all over the place. So I think that in and of itself is a very, very big thing to kind of keep in mind there because well if you're going to compare a pixel 9 to a galaxy s24 it could just make a lot more sense to go and buy something like a galaxy s24 at this point than the pixel 9 so there's already a lot of competition when it comes down to that particular side now some other things to kind of keep in mind here too is the fact that with something like the pixel 9 because it's already kind of in the situation where it's kind of competing i think against the 50, iphone 15 iphone 16 you're kind of getting somewhat of a limited type of device when compared to the pro models so once the iPhone 16 Pro comes out, the 15 Pro will be dropped down in the used market a little bit more. So I feel like from that side, because the Pixel 9 specifically is kind of tailoring against the iPhone 16s, it's also competing with the last year's Pro models, but it's also competing with this year's Galaxy S24 lineup, which is arguing it's competing with the, this year's you know Pro models as well. So the Pixel 9 is already sitting in this situation where it could seem a little overpriced depending on what you're getting. Now, the biggest thing that I can probably think of is the fact that the Pixel 9 Pro is a really big upgrade this year. The Pixel 9 Pro is bringing a lot of good stuff to the table, but the problem that I have with the Pixel 9 when compared to the Pixel 9 Pro is that camera. We're still getting a dual camera setup on the backside, which is kind of annoying a little bit. But the other thing too is the fact that we are getting 8K capability on the Pixel 9 Pro, where the Pixel 9 is still not giving you 8K on the back. Like we've had 8K on the back on the Samsung phones for a long period of time. And on iPhones, we still don't have 4K. You know, we only have 4K at 60, we don't have 8K yet. So there are a lot of things in that particular side that I look at and I'm just like kind of confused at what Google is doing with these cameras that they've been stating and holding over for so many you know years now of it being like the best camera of all time. Like I feel like by having 8K only on the pros is kind of a weird thing. I hope that ends up changing in the future, but those are kind of the problems that I kind of saw with the Pixel 9 Pro or the Pixel 9 in this case. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well then.